I am a student of National Textile University Face Alabad. And today I am going to tell you about some basic questions regarding warping process, which will help you in interview. So watch full video and give comments about this video. Also please subscribe to my YouTube channel Textile Magazine for more video. Please introduce yourself. My name is Shaquille. I am a textile graduate from National Textile University Face Alabad. Okay, I am going to ask you some basic questions regarding warping process. What is warping process? Warping is the process in which we prepare a set of warpers beam for the sizing machine. What are objectives of warping machine? Objectives of warping machine are to wound the required length on warpers beam, manufacturing of a warp beam with required characteristics, formation of parallel sheet of yarns wound onto beam, to convert smaller package into larger package, to prepare warper beam with required number of ends. What are types of warping? There are two types of warping. First one is direct warping, while second one is sectional warping. Please elaborate both types of warping. Direct warping is winding of yarn sheet directly on a warping beam, while in sectional warping. Firstly yarn sheet is winded on drum, and then on a warping beam. Which type of warping is high speed warping? Direct warping is also called high speed warping. What are different parts of sectional warping machine? Main parts of sectional warping are creel portion, drum portion, and headstock. What are different parts of creel portion of sectional warping machine? Different parts of creel portion are spindles, balloon breaker, yarn tensioner, yarn guide, and yarn sensors. Which creel type is used in sectional warping machine? In sectional machine, creel type is H type. What is maximum creel capacity of sectional warping machine? Maximum creel capacity of sectional warping machine is 800. Okay, very good. Let me ask you about direct warping machine. What are different portions of direct warping? There are two portion of direct warping machine. First one is creel portion and second one is headstock. What are different parts of creel portion? Different parts of creel portion are spindles, yarn tensioners, balloon breaking rods, yarn sensors, yarn cutters, motor and chain arrangement. What are parts of headstock portion? Different parts of headstock portion are expanding comb, guide roller, blow pipe, warper beam, pressing drum, and windscreen. How many motors are used for a comb? There are three motors used for comb movement. One is for traverse motion. Second one is for its center alignment. And third one is for its expansion and contraction. What are different types of faults that occurs on warping machine? Weak yarn. Paper cone damage. Cone short. Lapper. So, I hope you have learned a lot from this video. If yes, then share your views and comments and subscribe my YouTube channel Textile Magazine for more informational videos.